Hey everybody, this is Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong, and I wanted to quickly share a journal that I've been working in and have just loved working in this. Uh, it's one of my favorites that I have going on right now, and I thought I would share some of the things that I learned while doing this journal. Um, obviously, this is a very old book, and it was in pretty rugged shape. You can see that it was a library book. It has the marks where the tape held the cover on. And this is Blue Spring Farm. I loved the nature sort of uh, hint in that name, I'm thinking about a farm. And I'm not sure what this book was about. It has a piano on the front, so I'm not sure it was totally about nature, but I decided to make it my nature journal. I love keeping book covers just as they are. I just think there's something really special about that and how many people have probably checked this book out and read it and I like the wear and tear. I used um, Distress Ink and my individual letter stamps to stamp living things on the front I like that it's really faint. Sorry, I could hear a noise outside. I think it's the neighbor rolling their recycle down to the road. Anyway, um, I like that it's really faint it, as far as the, the depth of the ink. It, it just looks really old to me. This is a journal that I made by gluing in signatures. And again, I would like to thank Liz Drake for her tutorials on doing that. I really like doing them that way. Um, and I think this one turned out okay. Um, it's pretty sturdy. I did learn something. <laughs> I decided to distress some of the pages after they were glued in and it was going really really well until and and when I say distress sometimes I use distress ink and I will take a paper towel and just get some ink on it and rub the pages and that works pretty well if it's a little spot I might use a paintbrush um, sometimes I'll use a sponge um, but but this time I had a very thick well not thick. I had a tiny amount of coffee that had been brewed. And I took some Distress ink on a brush, and of course I didn't want to get coffee into my ink pad. So I put a little bit of the Distress ink into the tiny bit of coffee in a cup I was using, and I started painting the pages. And it, it was getting this really pretty effect, but I, I got the pages too wet, close to where they were glued in. And the glue held fine. The book has held up fine. <clears throat> it is just that one of the pages got so weak where it was folded, it started to tear away. Now, <clears throat> I'm not complaining. I love this journal even more. It was this first page that kind of tore away, and I feel like I've repaired it. I feel like a journal repair woman now. I did. You can see where I put a couple of things in so that I could put some more glue to this and, and make it stay in place. That said, it was a learning experience. From now on, if I want to distress pages once they're in a book, I will know not to get the pages damp at all. There's a big difference in ink and liquid to, to stain a page. That said, let's just go through it. I have been collecting some nature items that I really love, putting them to the side, and much of it will go in packets for the shop, but some of these things went into my journal. I glued in some of these tags with bugs, earwigs. I used to see those in my garden all the time. This little sweet page, Robin Redbreast. I love Robins. This came from a really old and falling apart tiny little mother goose book. Oh, so cute. This is one of my digital downloads. I need to put my name in here, I suppose. And I thought this card in the dandelion tea bag could be used to write my dedication. And I'm going to dedicate this book to my daughter and put maybe a few little notes in here for her. I want 
her to have this book someday. Meanwhile, this book had to have a story. Um, again, I've used my letters, my individual letter stamps to go through and stamp little messages. I decided that this book would be the findings and collection of a family. And I said, well, I'm going to pretend like this is a little set of twins. And they may be twins. That I did wonder about that. They're probably siblings or cousins. Um, but they're so adorable. They can't wait until spring when they can explore again. Have not named them yet, but they are sort of the proprietors of this book, if you will. And they've got other family members in here, too. We will get to them. I love this little page on top of here. Um, this piece of tissue paper across here, I used Mod Podge to put it down. And then when it was still wet, I went across and tore some of it away because I like that really old look. And again, I thought it might help to keep these pages together. I think it's okay, but I just thought, oh no, my baby. The front page is falling out. Um, living things. We have an old. This is part of a report that somebody wrote. I have the whole thing. Some of these pages have ended up in packets for my shop. I just thought the writing was fun. I love the color of the ink. Um, butterfly. All these different people. The baby. They're all living and we're all connected, every little, every living thing. She's a living thing. Now, this, in my mind, is the big sister of these sweet children. And it's probably very often her job to go out and find what they're up to. I am sure that she hopes she doesn't find them picking mushrooms that are poisonous. I love these little tags throughout the book. I decided to take tags, and while we're talking about tags, I want to share with you where these came from. I am a big coffee drinker, and where I work, we have a local coffee that is sold in the cafeteria to employees, and the, it's very, very hot, of course, so they have these, and every day I was ending up with two or three of these. If I remember, I take take it back to the cafeteria and use it again so that I'm not just wasting paper. But inevitably, you get busy, you go to lunch, and I would come back and finish the cup of coffee and have this left. So I thought, you know what? This paper is so perfect for tags. And instead of it going in the trash or recycling, I just started bringing it home and putting it in my... tag punch and I started getting tags out of this. I love it, especially this one in the center that says Joe Van Gogh. <laughs> so I wanted to share that. So you can save your little coffee things. Some of you may already do that, but I'm getting, and sometimes they'll be torn. I don't, I may use those if I glue it down, but most of the ones I get are really nice. So I put a little nature emblem. This one has a mushroom, and I glued it down so it could be a page turner. And I tried to glue it on, glue these onto pages so that they're staggered and also so that they mark pages that I wanted to remember where they were. I don't know what I got on that. So here she is, Mama. Can't really even see the letters there, but I stamped Mama across the top. So those are her children. The older girl, the twins, and then she's got a little baby and even a kitten. This digital download is also available in my shop. Um, these print out beautifully. This is uh, digital in my shop, and so is she. So moving on, I thought this was funny. I also saved my sugar packets, and we know that bugs like to get into sugar, so thrips. I'm not even sure what thrips are. Maybe it's a lava stage, or larva. <laughs> By the end of the day, my mind is just about uh, mush. But yeah, larvae stage. I don't really know. Maybe we can find out. Obviously, I'm going to keep adding to these pages. I just want to keep putting every wonderful thing in here. So there's room around here to grow. 
and I just love this lady. Handle with care, as we should do with every living thing. Here's one of the note cards I will probably write a really special note to my daughter on. And that's an old computer card. Some of these end up in the packets that I sell. And another tag there. Beautiful bird sticker. And I love this paper. Fern. More people from all over the world. What's always interesting to me is when I'm looking at um, books or magazines and it shows foreign places and I glimpse a songbird or a butterfly in their background and it'll be so different from the songbirds we have here. And I think, oh, how amazing it must be to, to be where they are and have those birds. But they probably feel that way about some of our birds. I just love that. Of course, I will be adding to this and Every journal has to have a Paris stamp. Well, not really, but I do like this stamp. That page was distressed with just a paper towel and, and distress ink, and I know it's not perfect. It will have things added to it, or I kind of like it the way it is, but anyway, more of that tissue paper that I really liked. I just really liked that for some reason. Just pretty. And... There's the monarch. This is part of a piece of paper that came out of one of my magazines. I wanna say it's Daphne's Diary. Really pretty magazine, so I like the mushrooms. Um, this came out of an old set of encyclopedias, this page. And there's another part of that. Shows the different types. There's an old uh, brain illustration. Gotta love it. Into a memory. I thought it was perfect because that was already the print on that paper. And there's some more of that mushroom. Didn't do anything with this page. I'm hoping I can find some mushroom stickers to fill this page up. And there's a little butterfly who's landed on the hearth. Now, this was funny. He, this old vintage ad, this man was holding up a cigarette, and I just really love this old little cutout. You can tell someone had it maybe in a scrapbook at some point, because you can see on the corners where the tape was. But I gave him a couple of butterflies. He, it looked like he was showing her a cigarette, and I said, that just won't do. So let's, I cut out, when I used a stamp to cut out some little butterfly shapes. That's just distress ink and then a stamp on top. Maps, transit routes, and old car ad. And of course, there's the little bird riding right on the tire well, flying along. I haven't really done anything with these pages. I sort of just like the vintage. There's another place to write some things down. I used staples on this. I normally don't use staples, but um, whose, pay, whose channel was I watching? I don't want to say in case I'm wrong. I think it might have been I'm a Cool Mom, Jessica. Somebody said they liked staples, so I thought, well, I'll try it. And I like it okay. I do. I wonder if um, I would like it even better if I had some type of colored staple. So this is, this is the man who he was really holding the cigarettes up for, because you can see he's got his lighter. Uh, I think this digital download is in my shop as well. I love big roses, especially the big cabbage roses. That looks like a tea rose, or maybe not. Kind of does, but maybe it's not. I love these. I have a whole collection of these vintage uh, conservation stickers, and I went through and took some of the butterfly stickers out. Um, sometimes I put those in my packets as well. That is from a, a sheet of scrapbook paper. This was from a local um, a handout, I guess, local activities and things. It had a map in it. Um, no, that's not local. I'm sorry that there are other things. I started to say, wait a minute. 
we don't have those buildings here. I was looking at the AT&T and that's what threw me off. I thought a uh, butterfly definitely needed to be at the top of that large building. No, we don't have the Empire State Building in North Carolina, just in case you didn't know that. Oh, and I love this. In one of my hunts for uh, vintage things, I found this old paper that someone had colored. Oh. I thought I heard somebody outside again. Um, it, I don't think they drew it. I think it was just a, a coloring sheet, but I could be totally wrong. I could tell it was old and it had been glued down so it to, to a board. I think there's somebody out there. It's either my sweetie or it's the neighbor. But this, um, this old tag was on the back of a piece of cardboard and then this was glued onto the piece of cardboard. So I was able to separate those two things and I used that as a little tag. I would love to have a whole box of these old things. It is just awesome. Okay, oh my goodness, I thought I wasn't recording. I had a message here that said low battery. Can you see that tag? It is just wonderful. So, and there's a little little pocket. There's where we get into my local stuff. I don't think I've gone crazy to think we have the Empire State Building here. And there's, I couldn't bear to throw any of that away, that old um, drawing or coloring. This is where we get into local stuff. I knew I had some handouts and trail guides and things from this area. So there's that. And then I may have to end up putting some Mod Podge on those stickers. They're not wanting to stick to that heavy paper. More pages to write on. And that's from a reproduction Sears and Roebuck catalog. More butterflies. More local outings and activities. That's a page that I had just put paintbrushes on to clean them off and maybe put blobs of paint to use for painting. I love doing this. I know it's kind of ridiculous, but it's kind of like a shaker page. It's almost like one of those, the rainfall things. So, it's got a lot of sequins in it, and then, is this called vellum? I know the clear paper is, but this had a texture on it, and I thought, well, I really don't know. I guess I should, but I don't. And more kind of messy, distressing, but this is my journal, and I know what I'm gonna do with it, so it's okay with me. And there's more of another traveler type thing. Now, this, um, if you're not familiar with it, I got this from a website called Vintage, but it's V-I-I-N-T-A-G-E. And they have a lot of free downloads. They have a ton of nature downloads, and I love the mushrooms, so I printed that from there. This is, I can't remember what that, oh, I do know where that came from. That was part of the uh, wrapping, the inside of that library cover for the book. There's another tag, it's a bed bug. <laughs> I know it shouldn't be in there, but it should. I mean, this is a nature book after all. We need to know what they look like. Not that you can see them. Oh, and I love this. This is an actual old ad card and somebody had written something on the back. Came from Wampole's Creo Turpin compound for coughs due to colds. Kelly, the druggist, prescription specialist, Main Street and 7th Avenue, phone 33, Carbondale, Pennsylvania. Isn't that amazing? So that was on a box. Probably the cough, this cough syrup came in. There's the actual cover to this book, which I said it has to be in the book, of course. More of that um, original little page that I found that was colored. Chairs. Sometimes you can take a chair outside and watch nature. We have a reproduction seed packages throughout. It's a little tuck spot with some more of that. 
and this I will have quite a few of these going into my shop these are from a vintage Peter Rabbit book I think it was 1939 and it the pages were falling out so I definitely want the illustrations to go to good use this I love as well. I have more of these. Let me reach up around the. These were little vintage calendar booklets um, from 1971. And I untied one of them. And I thought it would be fun since they already had holes punched to go ahead and punch through the journal page and tie string through it. This one ended up with tissue paper, so you can't see the string on this side, but I kind of wanted the texture, and that is the favorite, my favorite tissue paper that I have. More pansies or Johnny Jump Ups, love those. More chairs, and there's another part of the book cover. You can still see the library sticker. This page I love, too. I took some cutouts from a very large bug poster that I have, that I work from, glued them down on the page, and then put the vellum overneath so you can kind of see them. I just, I love this page. I love the texture too. And then there's another tag, termite. These are bugs we don't want to see, I suppose. And there is a larger part of that poster. I still have quite a few of that poster left. I may put some of that in a packet. I'm working on some nature packets for the shop right now. And there's more. Look, Gaylord book jacket cover. So neat. I don't see a date. That's another digital download in my shop. I like that. The old roses. And part of a map. Love this as well. This was an old envelope from the War Department. Office of Dependency Benefits, 213 Washington Street, New York, New Jersey official business. So that's a little pocket. Uh, I mean, wouldn't necessarily have chosen that, but the butterflies were on this side. So it's fine. And these, this is from a beautiful packet of um, die cuts that I found. They were made in England. And have several more pages of these. I just love these. I have sold some of these in my shop in the packets that I put out. And this, I love this. This was a very large old map and some of the pages I thought would be beautiful in here. Again, we only have one world, one planet, and we have to take care of it and each other. This is oil pastel. I colored the whole page and then used a paper towel to wipe it down really good so that it's not coming off on everything. I love that stamp. And there's another tag, and that's got a good, a good creature on it. Not that they're not all good, but, you know, I would much rather see this than a bed bug or a termite. There's another mushroom printable from that vintage, V-I-I-N-T-A-G-E dot com. I think it's dot com. I will list that reference in the credit below the video when I put it up. Again, more of that beautiful old map poster. Money. And there's another page. I wish that I had a bigger hole punch or that I had put this higher on the page because I'm gonna have to use a different way to punch holes to get the string in this one. But, oh, there's one that you can see. Yeah, I like that. I think that's really neat. And this one I loved, Tufted Titmouse. When my oldest son was little, he knew all of the songbirds. We would sit at the kitchen table and watch the birds and he would say, oh look, a Tufted Titmouse or a black cap Chickadee or a Cardinal and I grew up where there were a lot of pine trees, so I really did like that page. This, this was actually um, an old ad about paper items, tissue paper and paper flowers, and this magazine was from the 1800s, like 1898, and this is that kind of paper that is so old that when you hold it, if you bend it at all, it cracks it just breaks in half so I pulled this little piece out you can see how it was just 
it, there's even a crack across there. And I used Mod Podge to lay it down because there's not really. I may go back and scan this little part. I think that would be really sweet to go in the shop too. Uh, there's one of the big flowers that I like. That, I don't know, that looks like a wild rose or a, um, oh, I can't think. Um, I know the name, the, like the scientific, I can't think of it. Another seed pack reproduction. More stamps with birds, and there's another part of that envelope from the War Department. And these are the rest of the cards that came from the calendar I saved for myself. And I may take these out and put them throughout the book. And then we're to the very back here. And I love the roses against the blue and the little bird there. This is old. This is real ephemera. The, this says exportation. I hardy. I really am not sure what this is. And this index card said French Morocco, which was really neat. Now, I'll talk just real quickly about the, um, the charms I have on the outside of this book. I had this wonderful stash of kind of blue gray ribbon and it is so soft it's just oh it's and it's I love the color it's almost like a metal sort of gray and I thought it looked really old and nice against the book this um, this charm says travel and this charm says wander the way I did this is the way I do many times. I tie it through the book in the middle of a signature when I've glued in just to help hold it in place a little better. Um, then this, this is one of my favorites, and I've used so many of these through the years. I don't even know if I have one left. <laughs> I may have one or two somewhere in the house. Um, years ago at the Scrap Exchange, they had a barrel of these, and I do mean a barrel, this really heavy, pretty bee. And Burt's Bees, I think part of that business, um, I think they had some production here locally in North Carolina. I'm not sure about that, but oftentimes the Scrap Exchange would end up with things from Burt's Bees, and I wondered if these came from there. I really don't know, but this charm is amazing. And I had saved this for something special. I, I think I do have one or two more somewhere, but I thought this book would be perfect. And I like the old twine. I think it looks old as well. Um, and again, I know <clears throat> if you haven't listened to any of my other videos and you haven't heard me talk about the Scrap Exchange, or if you don't, you hear me mention it, but maybe you don't know what it is. It is a place, it's a reuse center. And I think uh, Durham, <clears throat> the people who established it here, they are sort of pioneers in this. It has grown and it's grown and it's grown and it's bought more uh, land around where it is, more of the retail area, I should say. They take in so many things from different manufacturing facilities, retail stores, individuals, estates, um, construction, teardowns, things from old houses, things that would end up in the landfill and they sell it for reuse and it is wonderful. So the Scrap Exchange is a place that I go frequently. I've bought wood there to build things when I had my retail store. I've bought vintage, um, like they have mannequins. It, it is just the coolest place. Things that, that I should never be thrown in the trash can. It shouldn't go in the trash can. So I will link them as well. And I really appreciate you stopping in. I don't have many subscribers. My channel, even though I've been around for a while, it's fairly new. I do notice that I have several new subscribers over the last couple of weeks. And I really appreciate that. I want you to know that I notice and I love sharing ideas. I love watching other people's channels and getting ideas. And I just appreciate you so much. 
So thank you. I hope that I was able to share something in this book that helped you. Um, don't distress your pages after you've glued them in with something that's too wet. How about that? And save your coffee wrappers because you can make awesome tags with those. So that's it for now. I hope everybody has a really good night. Bye-bye.